Hi Libra, how are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, NSF from the Inner Stereo. This is going to be your love messages as a general reading, so the rules might get reversed or it may or may not resonate with you. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link down in the description box below for personal reading with me, okay? So in this reading, Libra, it's going to be a you versus system format. I'm going to be pulling a card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today and what their current energy is like, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and we're going to clarify it. And I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you by the end of the session, okay? Hmm. Okay, Libra. So I feel that, you know, your energy here, you have the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, and also the full card in that proposition. I feel that after sometimes a few fully, I think this week you guys are going to be getting like a lot of intuitive download. And I think that this has been happening for a while now. And I feel that with those intuitive download, with all of the things that you have been observing, you're right now ready to rev up the engine to go after something that you truly want. There's a breakthrough here that you would like to be doing in terms of your life here. The full, we're going to clarify in a moment. Okay. Now, what are your challenges? The eight of cups and also the seven of swords. I feel that your challenges here has a lot to do with walking away from things that are no longer fulfilling for you. And because this is a relationship, this may entail another person as well. And I feel that also one of the challenges within this connection has a lot to do with the truth that has not been revealed yet. So we're going to clarify that in a moment. Now, in the past, you have the four swords and also the page of pentacles in reverse. There is a situation here that after thorough evaluation, after thorough consideration from your part, you felt the need to actually take a rest. You felt the need to actually calm down your nerves because you feel that, you know, from a practical standpoint, it's really not worth it for me to kind of like pursue or to be really, really anxious about it. In the present moment, you have the death and you also have a king of pentacles in that preposition. I do see a transformation coming from your part. And I feel that at this present moment, you guys are very, very focused on building your legacy and your very focused on getting your routines in check and that might entail again with your career or your mind financial sector now in the future you have the page of wands and you also have the nine of pentacles in that preposition i feel that in the future you guys are going to be a lot more playful there is an excitement here about um, what the future is going to look like for you i don't think that it has everything to do with this person though i know that this is supposed to be a love reading but i feel that your energy here is kind of like all about you at this present moment and also in the future now from their side they have the three of pentacles and they also have the five of cups in that preposition there was an intention there was this wanting or desire from this person to start collaborating compromising within this connection but i feel that because they were so busy looking at negative things there was like some sabotages here that this person is doing however in this present moment they have the world and they also have the ten of pentacles in that proposition i feel that things have come to full circle for them and i feel that at this present moment um this person is truly wanting to pursue something that is much more of a long term with you things that are much more stable and practical if you're single and ready to mingle i do feel that there might be a new person coming in your way that person could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn or a scorpio or a capricorn that's as far as i can see right now in the future knight of wands and also the page of swords in up preposition i just feel that you have somebody here whom have set their goals upon you they have decided they have fully decided and it's also already in the present moment that you know what a future with libra is something that i would like to have in my life therefore in the future i do see that there's a tons of excitement from this person's side about wanting to pursue things further with you wanting to go after you and also at the same time while studying you um there's a lot of things here about them noticing little things about you noticing your every move noticing your little gestures but we're going to clarify the moment okay so let's start clarifying your reading here libra <clears throat> i'm going to clarify this death card from your side first
So I feel that this death, the transformation that we've been talking earlier, has a lot to do with you wanting to put an end to a cycle or a pattern that has been repeating. And you you started to feel that, you know, I've actually contributed into that cycle as well. You know, what I mean by contributing, it could actually mean that, you know, I just feel that the partners or the people that you've been interacting with, it's always the same story, but with just different actors and actresses. And I feel that at this present moment, there is this awareness, there is this realizations about, I need to put an end to this cycle. I kind of like wants to break free from the patterns that I was in and not really putting myself in line of approaching any type of unhealthy connection or unhealthy relationship there is now from this person's side they have the world card clarified by the six of wands the two of swords and also the magician in that bright position the thing is that i feel that there's also this realization is coming from your part about um there's a lot of power struggle within this connection libra you could be dealing with a gemini or a virgo as well but there's like a lot of power struggle within this connection that you are starting to be very, very aware of. And the more that, and you're also starting to wonder, where does this addiction, your addiction towards this person comes from? Is it really a love bond or is it really a trauma bond? I'm going to clarify this Ten of Pentacles from their site. Interesting. Let's clarify this King of Pentacles in upright position. I feel that there is a high possibilities, like most of you are actually, this is a two people energy. One person is somebody whom you have been dealing with the best and another person is somebody who is entirely new. That's why there is a bit of this confusion coming from your side but it's okay because at one party it seems from one side you know the other one that is newer feels a lot more safer feels a lot more secure especially since the fact that this person is really really into you but on the other hand your love your heart is not towards this person it's towards somebody that in your past that has created like a lot of chaos in your life so I do see you being a bit um, confused because my heart is here, but I feel much more, I see myself being much more safe or secure in here. If you don't have a two people at your life, I feel that this is a lot more about you pursuing other things in your life. So it could be you pursuing your job, your career, your money, or it could be you pursuing more time with your support system are you pursuing a new health routines it could be like that but again it's it's something that you know that is good for you in terms of practically speaking but there is still this um, tendency of you to still feel a lot for this person let's clarify the future i'm going to clarify that knight of wands Clarify the page of ones. <sighs> the person that you've been dealing with in the past, the person that you have history with, this person is somebody whom likes their own ways of thinking, their own ways of approaching things their own ways of connection their definition of relationship or of connection of love you know we have a different definition of love we have a different definition of relationship you and i could be different okay and so is they and they're very quite comfortable with that because it gives them room to for freedom because this is somebody who likes to have their own autonomy 
um, somebody who does like their own freedom and is a bit hyper independent as well. And I feel that that's something that you don't like about them because although you're playful, but you are much more of a us or we person. Therefore, <clears throat> there's a part of you here, should you want to be with your the person whom you've had a history with, you would like to restructure the dynamic or you would like to restructure the connection because you weren't happy with that dynamic before and you certainly are not going to be happy with that kind of dynamic in the future. Okay, let's clarify the page of swords here. So because of you not really being focused on, you know, anybody at this present moment, I feel that there's going to be, again, a sense of freedom from your side to a sense of playfulness. Now, this is what's interesting here, Libra, is the moment that you are not wanting anything to do with love, not wanting anything to do with, you know, your past person, even the new person, I see you feel a bit wary when it comes to doing that. The moment that you're in that energy, the more that you're actually attracting, you know, when you are playful, when you just focus on the things that you would like and you love to do, when you're just immersing yourself in your passion, when you're just focused on your financial independence, on your freedom, on your sense of indulging yourself with everything, that's when you're actually attracting like a lot of people. Yeah. So if you're dealing with two people or if you're single and ready to mingle, I do see actually a lot of people actually going to come your way in the, in the future. But compatibility wise, I wouldn't say it's a match because again, they're attracted. Here's the thing. One of the reasons why I'm saying this is because I have a friend of mine. Um, her daughter is um, my daughter's best friend as well. Now, when she just got her heart broken, she was very detached, right? She was very aloof. She was very independent. And then she found this man who likes her independence, who likes her aloofness. Because there are people who are attracted to that type of quality as well because the husband now is also very you know aloof very independent not so emotional and everything like that so like wow you're not you know those emotional people that i used to deal with i'm attracted with you let's get married once they got married she starts having feelings and she starts having emotions then she starts to show the real her her authentic self is somebody who is not aloof who is not hyper independent who is not detached at all no she is very warm she's very attached and she's very she longs for a closer human connection that's when the unhappiness comes within their marriage now this is what i am worrying about in the future because one of the reason why these people are attracted to you has a lot to do with you numbing your emotions down and you being aloof detached and super hyper independent which I don't think that is you. That is not really your authentic self. Because I know this, right? You long for a closer human connection. This is what you want. And you kind of like wants to restructure to have a kind of relationship that you need, that you will feel comfortable emotionally. So yeah, you do have like a lot of admirers here. You do have a lot of people who are going to be very interested in you, especially in the future, your past person and also your future person as well. Um, trying to study you because you're such a mystery because of your aloofness and everything like that. The more that you actually block them out of your way, the more interested they become, the more that you don't want them to put a stop or become a hindrance of your own freedom, the more that they're actually interested in you. 
Let's pull some advice care for you here, Libra. Whoops. Seven of Wands, Temperance, and also the Tower. Okay, so your energy is all about restructuring, right? This is the same card as the one that I pulled earlier about what is your main focus at this present moment, about restructuring. You don't want the same pattern to repeat itself. It's a good thing. I think one of the reasons why you guys are so focused on doing that has a lot to do with you, you know, having the knowledge now. You've learned a lot. You're much more well-educated when it comes to that um, subject. Now, the next thing that you need to be doing here is Libra. Start eliminating things that you think are, no are not built on a stable foundation. If you have done that, what you're supposed to be doing is that you need to supposed to be reflecting on, okay, why is it that it fell apart? Track your first breakup or, you know, the, the breakup that was so hurtful. Track it down and be like, okay, why that relationship didn't work? What is it about me that was so attracted to that person? <clears throat> Why is it, why was I so heartbroken? Is it because I truly loved them or it was, it was because my expectation failed me? So there is a lot of room for you here. And this is what your guide here is really trying to push you to contemplate so that you could restructure the pattern. Because I think this is, has been your own focus. And rather than focusing on, you know, gurus, rather than focusing on theories, books and everything like that, I think you've read a lot you've heard a lot of that and i feel that it's time for you to be taking your life story and your love story as a subject for you to study so that you could finally break that pattern okay so i think that is it for my reading for you here libra i hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you guys been looking for and i look forward to seeing you guys next week for another weekly reading all right bye, -bye guys have a great day i love you